the welcome person and, uh, and, and viewers out there in our viewing audience. Hope you've all gone out and voted or do so before it snows out tonight. Uh, so happy election day. Hopefully it all goes well for everybody and no one gets elected. <laughs> okay, first we have uh, approval of legal notice for winter parking and sidewalk regulations. It's a yearly, uh, yearly notice. So, does anyone have any problems with this? Or think that anything should be added or no? no? So, I uh, I move to approve the legal notice for winter parking and sidewalk regulations as written and sent to us and given by Jeff Vidakovich, Vidakovich. We have a second by Marie. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, next, the appointment of new chairperson uh, to replace uh, Greg Gunder. As you may or may not know, Greg has been here with us for quite some time and is uh, transplanting to Florida, I believe. Um, it's been a few months, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is it February? When's he leaving? End of December. End of December. End of December. Yeah. And so. Um, <coughs> Aaron Wolf has uh, thankfully uh, stepped up and uh, at their last meeting everyone unapproved uh, of this uh, of Aaron taking over the chairperson place. Aaron uh, is a member of the uh, board as right now and so I would like to uh, enthusiastically uh, move to appoint uh, Aaron Wolf as the new chair for his zoning. I'll second. Any other comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you so much, Aaron. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We, we do have um, at least one opening on the board. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. We have the one on the Anybody plane. you can think of? Ask your friends. <laughs> By the way, did the light get fixed? It, it did get, um, they turned it down quite a bit. I'm sorry? They did um, reduce the brightness quite a bit. Okay, great. Thank you. They can reduce it by, what did they take out? They replaced it with a different... Um, oh, they replaced all that. The fixtures just fit into the existing uh, cap, I guess, right. and they were able to just oh. switch it out. Nice. Yeah, there were two problems. One, it was, I, I think it was the higher Kelvin, and it was a higher wattage, so they needed to bring the Kelvins down and the wattage down. They can also shield it if it's still too bright. It's still brighter than it was, but I haven't, haven't heard much complaint yet. Well, okay. the light. Sure. Will they do that if you just call uh, Central Hudson and you don't like the brightness of the street light? Yeah, like, we had probably five people from our block call. It was, it was really incredibly bright. So. It, it's and Marie also called. Yeah, it, it's ideal if you let the village know that, that it's a problem. Uh, because we do have a liaison, a municipal liaison, and she's very sensitive to the fact that we are, we do not like the higher rated Kelvins. We prefer the lower ones. Okay, on we go. Uh, number three, uh, approval of Thomas Califano to assume video editing responsibilities at current rate of $15 an hour. Um, this is also Greg Gunder related. So, um... I will make the motion uh, to approve uh, this new responsibility for Thomas. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Congratulations, Thomas. Yes. <laughs> you have more work to do now. Tom, <laughs> Tom, have you gone over this with Greg, or do you need more? Yeah, Greg's going to send me the password for the YouTube account, and that's really all I'll need. Okay. They'll send me the graphic to put in the front of the videos and stuff. And as far as what you have to do with the town, you have to bring it to Tina at the Yeah, he'll go over that with me. Okay. Uh, later. So right. did, did he give you an idea of how soon it should be up online once the meeting's over? Like, is it a couple of days or? I can get it up the night of. It's, it shouldn't take that long. Mm -hmm. It's it's basically just trimming the handles off the video and putting the logo at the beginning. Okay. It's whatever, not like serious <laughs> editing or anything. <laughs> whatever he said, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sounds like you said he could do it. Sounds like, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like it's right. Uh, update on the fire roof, firehouse roof. Um, after talking to another contractor um, who I was uh, referred to by the supplier in the area, um, 
decided to uh, we'll rebid um, in the uh, spring uh, because of the the amount that the bids were and the lack of people bidding. Uh, this person told me that he was working on an Arlington job, uh, Arlington schools, and there were like 80 bidders, and that's this year. So uh, anyway, um, he was gonna send uh, information on uh, Blue Book, which he said all the contractors, uh, commercial contractors look at, and uh, I think Jeff was familiar too. Um, so we'll get out more, quote, get out the uh, advertisement better, and uh, hopefully in the spring, get, to get a better bid. Uh, he thinks we should come in at least $25,000 less. Um, I did talk to Dave Maroney, and he's going to stop up and try to uh, patch the areas um, so, until, so we can make it till the spring. And uh, so I'll follow up with that. And that's that. Um, Steve. Do you, uh, do you want me to talk to Dave about that? Sure. Okay. Yes. I would love it if you did that. <laughs> All right. Um, in terms of the uh, hydroelectric proposal, uh, Tomorrow I'm meeting with the uh, representative of uh, BQ Energy and uh, we're going to go over uh, some points that our village attorney made or questions about the, their uh, agreement of understanding or whatever it's called, MOU, Memo of Understanding, isn't that what that stands for? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to address the, his questions with them and then they're going to say yay or nay, or right. and then uh, they're going to come back to us with the updated MOU, and I guess we have to make a resolution to move forward on. Okay. So that's where we're at. In general, what was uh, uh, John's thinking? Uh, he had no problem with anything. Uh, you know, he just wanted to add a few uh, a few aspects, like you know, for example, like the. Uh, if we're leasing or licensing them, there's the spot at, at the location in the village. We have to charge them an amount of rent. Otherwise, uh, we there's a state requirement that we have to receive a fair market value for the space that we're leasing them or trading them or however we're going to word it. Otherwise, it looks like we're playing favoritism, like just giving anybody a piece of our village to to work off of looks so like it was very looks useful. like the good old days or whatever you know so yeah. it's very useful in, in having him review it oh absolutely yeah. yeah i mean there's there's not a lot of stuff and there's nothing in there where he's like oh geez yep. you know do not you know do not enter in this agreement but he just wanted to, he had a few points that protected the village a little more so and uh based on what the guy from uh, bq was saying they're, they're willing to do pretty much anything with the right. agreement so. so that's what's going on with that Okay, thank you. Um, oh, by the way, we just uh, saw the bill for the temporary repair of the firehouse doors, mm -hmm. and it was under three hundred. It was, yeah. yeah. Yep, I uh, I just brought it back. I mean, I just. Oh, you saw it. it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I brought it to the show. Thank you. Uh, but uh, they're scheduling that right now, just to update that. They're waiting for. They ordered six springs for that door, and I guess it takes a while. But once it comes in, they'll uh, they'll they'll install that, and the door will be fixed. So. Great. Uh, discussion of 4th of July committee, um, I had that put on there, I just, it's, I don't know if it's much of a discussion, I, I just think we need to, to start the ball rolling. Uh, we have <coughs> monies uh, donated by, uh, well it's going to be under uh, VFW this year, or the old VFW, which the Groombridges uh, own and are operating, um, instead of Groombridge Games, which I believe is going to be closing. Um, so we do have the money um, uh, for the fireworks, um, at least, uh, you know, the amount that was spent last year. I wouldn't, I didn't talk to him about pontoons, and that's all part of why we should get things going. Um, the parade, which we didn't have, um, you know, if we get people that are interested and want to help, we can start working on, on, on getting people for that. Uh, for uh, the kids, we didn't really get it together for any uh, games or anything down at the... Uh, down at the site, so all, all those things uh, need to be discussed, and maybe we can work on that. I, I didn't think that the parade was missed. I, I, I didn't hear any complaints about not having a parade. Did hear complaints about the kids didn't have anything to right. do. Yeah. So I, if, if those two topics come up, I would focus on the second. Yeah. I'll focus on both of them for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See. So um, you know, we'll just put, we'll put in an ad in the paper. Everyone agree on that, and uh, yes. just. For volunteers? Yeah, for volunteers. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
once we uh, hear back or hopefully hear back we can set a date for a first meeting. <coughs> Uh, next is a uh, discussion on recognition for outgoing board members Arnie Sari and Greg Gunder. As you probably know, if you follow Coles, the village, uh, you know, workings, uh, Arnie and Greg have uh, served for a long time and have uh, served, you know, served the village very well. And so um, I guess this is, a, I'm not sure exactly what we're discussing discussing w w how to recognize them mm. or a meeting or whatever um, I hate those resolutions but is that one thing you're supposed to do I think we sh I think that would be nice uh, <clears throat> there's something else we can do turn the cameras off it'll be a surprise <laughs> uh, no I mean thoughts on that um, the only thing is we don't usually do this when somebody leaves the board no. so you know starting a press and then I realize on the in on the in great have both been here a long time but a resolution and a recognition at a meeting, maybe, you know, other than like the village clerk, mm -hmm. um, and the highway guy who have been here like both more than 20 years. <coughs> what about a like, use certificate? Uh, I think we would have we would have to we would have to put the money up for that. I think, right? I'm willing to do that. Yeah. Uh, I'm willing to too. Uh, is everyone mm -hmm. flaked like for dinner or something? You yeah. guys like to put in some money. Put us, yeah. No, not really. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> the problem with, uh, with Greg is I'll make him dinner. Sure is yeah. Yeah. You'll make him dinner. That works too. He gives a certificate that he could use down in Florida, so yeah. like a visa card mm -hmm. or something like that, which yeah. is easy to do. Okay. You just buy it. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll talk we to you about that. that and we'll do we want to discuss with their boards, like the DBA or the oil thing, and, and since that's those okay. are the people they've worked with. Okay. This can be you in 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> gift certificate, something. <laughs> You're going to work for a gift certificate. <laughs> How long was Greg on the board? I know he was on the board when I joined it. I don't know. When did I join? Forever. I can't He's been there at least more, more than that, likely. Okay, so I'll talk to the board members, find out how many years they served, and then uh, and, and get something together, maybe for a meeting yeah. before Greg leaves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe the first meeting in December. And drag on in here, that'd be interesting. Okay, so I'll, I'll follow up on that. They'll probably be in Vermont. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next is uh, the long-awaited uh, awarding of the bid for tree pruning and removal services. Uh, there were two bidders. The lowest bidder was Phillipstown Tree Service at six thousand uh, dollars. Um, scope of work is in, uh, scope of work included or just in the his, his, What's that? This is just in accordance with the uh, tree right. committee recommendation, and then the uh, other one outlines all the, all the trees that are being cut. Well, this is a, a number of all the uh, the more serious uh, trees in need of uh, removal or uh, pruning. So, uh, and I think it was it was an emergency last year, and it's gone another six months or so. So, uh, yeah. I would like to make a motion to award the uh, the bid for pruning and removal to Phillipstown Tree Service, the lowest bidder, at six thousand dollars. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Next is authorized mayor to send letter in support of Senate Bill S3292, amend environmental conservation mm -hmm. law to Sue Serino and Sandy Gala. Honestly say I didn't read this. So there's a, um, both the assembly and the Senate, the state assembly and the Senate have bills in house that <coughs> would permit, would essentially do like a CHIPS funding but for interest, uh, for um, I can't for wastewater work, and it would be awarded to municipalities on the same theoretically the same basis that chips money is currently awarded. It would be um, smaller numbers in terms of dollars, but nonetheless, it's it's some it's an amount of funding. So um, the letters in front of you um, go to Susarita for uh, the state assembly, state senate bill and Sandy Gala for the State Assembly Bill, urging them to support those bills. 
Would you like to make a motion? I'd like to uh, make a motion to authorize the mayor to send the letters to Sue Serino and Sandy Gala. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> How do you didn't know anything about it? Would be your name is. <laughs> I did know about it. I typed really good. Marie was getting antsy and I wanted some, oh. something to do. Uh, discussion on procurement policy, establishing approval procedures. We did run into a little bit of a. Well, we didn't know exactly what we had put in there. I know we had talked about anything under three thousand dollars. I believe was. Uh, we just needed to have approvals through the mayor um, or the board, and uh, but then there was bids for like six thousand dollars or seven thousand that we really didn't have anything through when it comes to the board. So I guess the question is, is there a, a number people would be uh, comfortable with that we didn't have to go through an approval with the whole board, or do you want everything over? I believe it was three thousand dollars to come to the board. I have to look at it again, to be honest with you. Okay. I don't remember what we. Okay, so well, if everyone well, we take a look at that and, and see if there's a threshold that everyone's comfortable with, so we don't have to like you know like the trees was six thousand dollars, so we have to wait for a week or two weeks or whatever, which isn't the end of the world, but um, you know, okay. but six thousand dollars, it's also not the end of the world. So we give the go ahead on that, and it would mean that we'd still have to have uh, three recommendations or whatever, yeah. but the approval process. Okay. Uh, highway department announcements. Fran, you want to give this sure. a whirl? Highway department announcements. There will be leaf, lawn and leaf uh, debris pickup tomorrow. So bags should be out tonight if you have them. Uh, next Wednesday the 15th and Wednesday to the 22nd. So we have three upcoming lawn and leaf um, pickups. Um, there will be no recycling, uh, regular garbage recycling on this coming Friday because it's the Veterans Day holiday. And again, no recycling on the Friday after Thanksgiving because the village offices are closed both this Friday and the Friday after Thanksgiving. And finally, the garbage pickup, um, oh, you really, the regular garbage pickup that is usually scheduled for Tuesdays or Tuesday through the early morning will instead for Christmas be uh, picked up on Wednesday, December 27th. So there will be no regular garbage pickup December 26th. It will instead be picked up Wednesday, December 27th. Um, the first two of these are posted on Facebook and have been announced that they're going to really get posted on Facebook shortly. Mm -hmm. That's it. Also adding to the highway department news, uh, I don't know if everyone heard, but Bugsy had a, I guess, hopefully a minor heart attack and had, uh, I believe, two stints put in um, and he was back out of the hospital fairly quickly and he's home. Um, so, Bugsy, hi, hope you're all right. I uh, haven't talked to him, I talked to Charlie today. Um, he hadn't gotten any other information on it either, but uh, I think he might have to go back in for one more from what I understand, but anyway. All the best to, to Bugster. Uh, next, uh, request a uh, sidewalk at three to five Stone Street. Um, it's from Alex and Betsy Carone. Uh, they are the ones just behind Doug's Pretty Good Pub. They are re redoing that whole building over uh, to apartments and I believe retail on the bottom. Or is it retail or is it office? I, it's, it I, don't, think office. It's, I don't think, I don't think it's, it's zoned commercial. Right. So. Not sure. Anyway, um, uh, Betsy was in today and I happened to be here. They wanted the uh, sidewalks in bad shape and they would like to have it fixed at their expense. Um, so I did a little walk over there with her and took a look at everything they wanted to do. Pretty straightforward. Uh, uh, Pete Lesicatis is, or Nick Lesicatis, sorry, is uh, going to be doing the work uh, for them and doing the sidewalks. So uh, we'll, you know, if uh, the board agrees to let them uh, proceed, I'll, I'll work with Jeff and we'll get some legal papers over or talk to John and make sure we're, you know, covered and as far as liability and whatever else. And an escrow. And what's that? And an escrow. escrow. Mm -hmm. The escrow would be for what? For the repair. So they would provide the, it's like taking down trees. They but would, they're paying for it. So we have to go through the it's escrow. Like take, through. It's like taking down trees. 
Uh, Only they're not trees, they're <clears throat> it's sidewalks. Okay, so it's a similar. <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying. We'll get an escrow for them so that it's completed and more satisfying. You see what I have to put up with? <laughs> you. Uh, so, uh, is everyone okay with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Somebody wants to pay to do something for us. Uh, yeah. Yes. Right. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And I'll also talk to uh, to Charlie on this because I, I believe it is really under his jurisdiction. <clears throat> Um, and uh, number 13, we have approval of bills. Lynn? Okay. I move to approve batch 4352 for the amount of $23,078.50. Second. Any discussion on that? Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we have... Any Make a motion to adjourn? Is there <laughs> anything else? Off. Oh. Anything from the audience? Thank you again, Aaron. Yes, seriously. Thank you, Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Mm -hmm. It's a tough position to fill, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything else? Okay, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 20 minutes. 20 One, minutes. two minutes.